An iPhone by itself is just a blank canvas. Figuring out what accessories, EDC, and gear you want to use is what makes the experience so fun. So today I want to show you my top five favorite accessories that I use nearly every day with my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is the Anchor 733. Now to be honest, I could probably put the entire Anchor lineup in terms of my favorite iPhone accessories, just because I think it's a much better value than even Apple's own chargers. They're more powerful, they have more ports, and they're cheaper. But the 733 stands out to me in the whole lineup because of its different types of ports. We have two USB type C, a USB type A, and although it's not their fastest one at only 60 watts, I love the fact that it's a power bank with a integrated wall charger. So if I'm going to travel, this is basically the one thing that I'm bringing to charge anything that's, you know, USB type C accessories. A lot of power banks, you need a cable and wall adapter just to charge the power bank in addition to all of your other devices. But with this one, you can just plug it straight into the wall and it will charge itself or you can plug anything in and now it's basically just a wall adapter. I've been using this thing consistently for at least a year or two now and it's been incredible. Next up, we have the thing that's actually on the back of my phone, and this is made from a company called Moft. Now, this product right here is a MagSafe wallet, and I actually just upgraded to their brand new one, which is a much stronger magnet on the back, more premium materials, but I've been using a Moft wallet for over three years now. Here's my previous version. Definitely had some quality wear and tear, but still was working right up until I got this one. It also folds out into kind of a tri-fold stand, so you can have it vertically like this. You can watch movies on the side. It keeps your phone's profile still incredibly thin. Uh, it's never fallen off once. I've never had an issue with, you know, losing the wallet or anything. And so I love the Moft wallet, but they actually did just come out with another brand new item, which looks very similar and I've been loving this as well. This is actually a tripod and it's again, incredibly thin, but this hinge just opens up on the back and then it opens up here, kind of magnetized there. And now you have a nice little tripod that if you're filming things like on the ground, if you're taking like FaceTime calls and you have the front facing camera up, it works in both vertical and horizontally, it just rotates on the magnet on the back. Uh, you can use it as a good old uh, selfie stick to kind of hold it up, get a couple inches extra reach. And yeah, I just think this is a really versatile little tripod for creators, because most of the time when I go out and you know, I'm always wanting to set my phone somewhere if I'm trying to film myself, and carrying around other tripods that have like phone mounts. Those have their advantages for sure, but I haven't seen another tripod be this minimal to where you can literally throw it in any pocket bag or anything. And it's great for like the, I may need a tripod to, you know, set it on a table, take a family photo or something. Both of these items are well under a hundred bucks. And so obviously everything's gonna be linked in the description below but Moft makes some incredibly good stuff. We gotta get a little techie here for a second because while it's awesome having all these different accessories and being out and about with your phone, when you're out and about, you are vulnerable to a lot of different things. I love to work in restaurants, coffee shops, take my kids to the McDonald's playground, work in there, but at those public places, you can't really trust those open Wi-Fi network. And that's where something like IP Vanish, today's sponsor, comes into play. IP Vanish is an amazingly simple, easy to use VPN software that you can install both on your phone, your computer, your tablet, whatever device you are taking around with you, giving you the privacy, security, and freedom that you deserve to have on the internet. Uh, first of all, it does things like help block ads on websites, noise. Of course, you gain anonymity so that other people on those open Wi-Fi networks can't see your devices, see what you're doing. So things like banking, social media logins, all that stuff is going to be fully safe. Also, I think we've all been in the situation where we're traveling. Maybe you're in a hotel or you're out and about somewhere. You want to watch a certain show that may not exist in that region. Boom, just open up your VPN, select that region that hosts that show, and now you know your Netflix can play whatever show you want. IP Vanish helps you keep your passwords, financial documents, file transfers, and browser activities safe from third-party interception. 
They are also independently verified to have a no logs policy. It simply means an outside source is verifying that IP Vanish is also not storing your data. I'll be 100% honest with you, I was never really into VPNs, but to be honest, IP Vanish showed me that it's incredibly easy to install. It's literally a button push to turn it on and enable it. And you can try it risk free for 30 days and also check out the annual plan for even more savings. To learn more why IP Vanish might be right for you, check out the top link in the description below. And thanks so much to IP Vanish for sponsoring today's video. So now that our VPN is turned on, I think we can go back to our regular set. Getting back to the list here, we have actually my own product, and this is called the Cine Grip. So this has been an awesome addition to my own personal kit, and I know a lot of you have been enjoying it as well. This is something that my friend Cliff and I came up with to basically turn your phone into an actual form of a traditional camera and connect a hard drive to the back of the phone. So I made a video a long time ago where I took a hard drive and little adapters, and now you can fit both of these in here, connect it to your phone, plug your phone straight in, and now you've got a great little grip setup. You've got a hard drive of your choice. We've got a bunch of different hard drives that you can fit into the back here. Got three different quarter 20s around the side so you can mount it on a tripod, a gimbal, you can throw a light, microphone, whatever at the top. Ports open on the side so you can use cables, your own adapters, whatever you want to connect a hard drive to your phone. It just feels really good in the hand with the grips, the thumb, little indent there. And so not only is there currently still no other SSD to iPhone minimalist solution on the market right now, but we wanted to make it a really good price. So you can learn about all this in the description below. And regardless of if it's in a cine grip or not, my other favorite iPhone accessory this year is definitely hard drives and anything to connect it to the iPhone. The fact that we can film Apple log and straight to an external SSD is just incredible. And SSDs in general have come down so much in price. You can pick up a one terabyte T7 drive for like 80 bucks. I saw on Amazon, this is a T5, but you can get a T7, T5s, anywhere around that one to two terabytes for right around 70 to 100 bucks. And I think that's just nuts. These drives are incredibly fast, durable. I've used them for years. And again, these also neat little 180 USB-C adapters. Leave all that linked below as well. And finally, I may get some flack for this one, but I love it. It's the MagSafe Duo. So this is actually a first party Apple product. Um, and it was definitely on the overpriced side of like 130, 140 when I bought it. But since they went USB type C, and this is still a lightning product, uh, they're on sale for just under a hundred bucks at the time of this recording. But I just love it. The, you know, it's got that Apple premium quality to it. It's got a nice heft and for traveling, this has been an absolute essential to charge both my phone on the uh, left side here and the watch, you can either lay it down or it pops up. And so I have this by my bedside basically every single night, lightning plugs in the back. It's just super minimal. And when I need to pack it up to travel, it's just, I love this thing so much. I'm curious, what are your favorite everyday carry items? Let me know in the comments below. While we're on the subject of favorite budget items, to accessorize our phone. If you want to get access to over 250 of the best iPhone and Mac applications for a steal of a price, you definitely need to learn about this app in this video right here.